IGCSE Computer Science, Syllabus Statement 1.5b, Distinguish Between Free Software, Freeware, and Shareware. So, um, free software, freeware, and shareware, different types of software. Um, so, we'll look at each of these, um, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. We'll look at them. Um, so, yeah, yeah, let's, let's just get started. There's no introduction needed. <laughs> it's just... Okay, so in free software, um, users have the right to run, copy, change, or adapt it. The user is guaranteed the freedom to study and modify the source code of the software, um, and they are also allowed to pass modified or unmodified source code on to others, and of course use source code in their own programs as well. But users aren't, aren't allowed to add source code from software which isn't described as free software. So if um, you take free software and you add, like you add source code from something that isn't free software, that's not allowed. But if you take um, free software and add source code that is also from another free software, that's fine. It's all, it's all free software. Um, they're not allowed to produce software that copies existing software that has copyright loss. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's as it says. Um, adapt, they're not allowed to adapt software such that it infringes copyright laws that um, protect other software. So, um, yeah, they're not allowed to do that. Um, so even if free software has these, um, all these benefits and whatever, um, then it's important that users don't do that. And they're also not allowed to use the source code to produce software which is seen as offensive by third parties. Freeware um, is a little bit different. Like, well, yeah, of course it's a bit different because, you know, um, freeware can be downloaded for free off the internet. But unlike free software, freeware has copyright laws. So the user isn't allowed to study or modify the source code. But it, it, they're just allowed to get it for free. And, um, yeah. Shareware is um, kind of like free software, but works a bit differently. Um, so users are allowed to try this type of software for free, but for a period of time. And at the end of this time, the user must pay a fee to continue using it. So you kind of, we kind of see this, like when they say, oh, 30-day trial for the software, and then at the end of the 30-day trial, oh, your trial is up, but you can buy the software. It's kind of like that. So um, when, the fee is, uh, when the fee is paid, um, then the user is registered with the software originator, and um, the user is offered free updates and uh, software support. And also in many cases, the um, trial version of this type of software is missing features, which the full version has. It's also important to know that this type of software is fully protected by copyright laws. So the user is not allowed to um, use the source code in any of their own software, and permission must be obtained by the software originator um, in order to s share this type of software with um, other people.